What's up, everybody? <laughs> Howdy ho, guys and gals. What is that from? Howdy ho, guys and gals. Isn't that like a fucking TV show? It's a, it's a thing. I, I can't think of it right now. <laughs> Probably like, howdy ho. Oh, quick Google search. Howdy ho. Howdy ho, neighbor. Howdy. It's a. Uh, yeah. yeah. Is it like home, home improvement, improvement or something? Uh, yeah, probably. Howdy, Howdy ho, neighbor. neighbor. There you go. Yeah, we got, we got. It's showing our age. Improvement. Straight, dude. It was such a good show. Like <laughs> it, it was. Uh, I was like, if that was a real show too, that would have been fantastic. You know what I mean? Tool time. Yeah. Like, you got to bring it back. Somebody has to do a tool time on YouTube or something. That's. <sighs> I'm telling you, honey, ho, guys and girls. I'm doing that one too. <laughs> well, what's what's no. up, everybody in the chat? We got Brian, Just Work, Jason Johnson, Eddie HVAC, Refrigeration Devil. That's a new one. Yo, the dev. Mark Morales, Froggy. Big Mark. Damn, there's a lot Lee. of people in here. Uh, welcome to, we made it to episode 39. We are down a night. He, uh, He's putting in that in that overtime. OT doesn't want to work it's, on the weekend. Well, yeah, it's late for you guys too. He's working thirty seven twenty where you guys yeah. are at. Yeah, man. Yeah, I was thinking I was gonna have a late one, but it it turned out a, one call got canceled, and then somebody else took the other call, so it worked out well. Was that, that probably wouldn't have been here? Was it an ECM motor, <laughs> bro? <laughs> Are those not like I, I have an ECM? So like, I haven't, I have a video, and yes, there was an ECM motor I did do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it ever is. And um, so th those, okay, when you replace them, you replace them with what, like OEM, or do you, do you keep something else yeah, that you put in? Yeah, no, it'll depend whether it's uh, in warranty or not. If not, oh, I'll just right. get a Gen, I'll, I'll get the Gentech X13. They work just fine. But recently, been carrying those Zebra. Um, they like plug into the module um, surge protectors. Is it like so. the Zebra instrument or whatever? Yeah, it's the same company. Yeah, they have they a crap a ton of stuff. Yeah, they do. I used to always want it, but I guess it's. I mean, it's pretty expensive. I think I don't remember. Like it was when I was starting. It's like, yeah, mm. let me get that stuff, man. <laughs> Let, lie down. I'm sorry. To yeah, but. Your uh, nail. I recently had a call to a new customer and they have a, a oh, walk-in okay. cooler. It's a, it's actually the beer cooler. I don't know how they're running without it. Uh, <laughs> because we're, we're coming in, taking over for another company, you know, whatever. I'm still trying to do a video there, but it's like one thing after another has popped up and I, I went to repair some leaks, thought I got everything going. And the, the thing is that the fan motors, they're on a delay, right? So I was like, okay, I'm not going to, I didn't think to like bypass all the electrical just to test them out. Right. I was like, I'm going to fix what's wrong with it. The leaks, all that vacuum it, charge it up, you know, start it up, everything. I turned the thing on and the motors are just like pulsing in and out randomly too. I'm like, yeah. what the hell is going on? And then I look into the, into, into the, you know, the evaporator as two ECM motors. I was like, and I've, I've actually never seen around here like ecm motors in the walk-in boxes like that i wonder if it's gonna be standard for for those i want to say when was it between 2017 2019 isn't it at least for residential and splits it's like mandatory or just standard for ecm motors now oh well, yeah so that's why it's just so frequent and then it, it's the i know but seeing how many you've changed out i looked at them <laughs> like don't tell me i got two bad motors <laughs> It's kind then, of a good uh, problem to have. And then the guy was like, what happened? He's like, that that wasn't hap like happening before. But like, they had it off for so long because they got new management. They got bought out. Then they had a different company before servicing it. And they couldn't fix it. I came in there. You know, I found some leaks. We fixed the leaks. And then uh, I'm yeah. contemplating if going in with just regular motors that I have, like the, you know, the Fasco ones I have, or give them the option to, I got to order those ECMs because nobody has them here. Yeah, for sure. Um, and I tried different things, but it's it's just super random. So I'm like, it's just 
the module or whatever it is in the motor is is giving out because I've seen them before, and we've had this one issue similar. Mm-hmm. And I, there's nothing like you got power to it. That's all you can really do. And yeah. they're not they're not turning off at the same time. It's like real random. Like they'll run for like two minutes or something, and then one will turn off, and then like another one will turn off. They turn right back on, and then like the next cycle is like. 10 seconds 30 seconds and then they'll start turning off again it's like super random what is the cycle in one of those how long like in terms of they got to shut off right this one has a well on a on a regular walk-in cooler the fans never turn off right okay so the compressor will will cycle off when it meets temp it turns off with a pressure switch and all that the fans Mm -hmm. stay on just so that it doesn't ice up it's like the defrost for it right so when it goes into defrost it's the fans that are air defrost and then when uh it yeah, meets temperature yeah. they're they're still on just so it's defrosting i was but thinking th- the other way around but this one has a a mechanical uh temp control in the in the box that's why i didn't think anything of it it's in there to only have the fans on when it's actually cold so once mm-hmm. the system starts up the fans are off the uh evaporator gets cold enough and then that little temp control turns the fans on right so i was trying not to go too into it i was like oh yeah you got you got some leaks it was it was flat basically let's get the Mm -hmm. leaks repaired let's get it going i i had no not nothing would have told me that both of the damn motors would have given out for sure i mean it happens frequently i guess well you know what a, uh, a, a little trick is if you can get them things to stay on, I don't know how it works. Like if it's in a house, right. And I see it kind of like doing its thing, like we'll just leave it in the on position on the stat. And it's, it's just always going to run, but generally, well, they won't by stay the time on. we get back with the, I bypass the, temp- I, pa- I bypass that fan delay and everything. And I hooked them up straight mm-hmm. to power and it still does it. And I thought I, I thought it fixed it. Cause it's st- like yeah. I said, it stayed on for like a couple minutes afterwards. When before okay. it was like immediately turning off and on, but we hooked it up straight to power and it lasted like two, five, two to five minutes. And then it started doing that. Yeah. Again. Does it have like, 24 shit. volt control then? I was going to say, check. Does the voltage did you check any of that stuff? Straight 208. Hmm, so like everything is, is going to be in the motor, basically, whatever is faulty on it. It's just concerning yeah. to me because like both of them are doing it. Well, yeah, it's in a moisture environment. Yeah, because what do you need, bud? Mike here. Sorry. What big Mike? uh, Mike had a brand new. They were only twenty four hours old. Three fan evaporator motors go bad. Uh, They were the two speed intelligent. This this one that I'm working on is an old school heat craft, but it has ECM motors in it because everything else is mechanical on it. Like there's no board or anything on it. But the Intelligent, that's the one that I was talking about when I said I've seen these motors before. Because on the Intelligent, they also have ECM motors. They look a little different. But we had one that had a short, try to fix it, rewire it, all that. And then, like, it worked for a little bit, and then it started giving out. So, like, I've seen something similar to it. But it's, like, like you said, like, the moisture and everything. Like, I don't know. I don't know how long these things last in in that environment. Right. That's what I'll be interested to see excuse me golly we're good but well sounds like you had a good time and uh well i'm enjoying it because it's a it's a restaurant kind of like what we used to work on like it's a big kitchen a lot of equipment and they want us to take over you know super they're super uh super cool about it so we're taking over some other company that was there and um you know hopefully it's more work sounds like it let's go let it ride Oh, he craft got away with East got away from the ECM motors. I think I'm going to go back in with just some regular, uh, Fasco motors that we carry. Cause like the original motor is almost 500 bucks. It's like 400 or something. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds about right, man. I, I'm like, some we, of them. we can go original 400, you know, markup. I don't know what it'll be, but it's 400 for us. 400 bucks, a motor, it needs two. Um, I think that's all it would need or get you the, these other motors that we carry that are like a hundred bucks, right? Mm-hmm. Just wire yeah. them straight in. Yeah, for sure. 
Oh yeah, Brian was like, yeah, they're 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 not cheap. I know. I, I want to say the most expensive. It's generally carrier, man. For me, uh, the experiences we always we had a customer that wants the OE, OEM one out of warranty once. It was crazy. I was like, all right, that sixteen pin <laughs> connectors, man. It's like negatory. So when it's out of warranty, how often do uh, the customers like? Do they care? Like. Oh, no, I always just put in the Gentech like, or something like that in Evergreen. Um, can always offer, like, alter the PSC, but... Yeah, because really. I was like, for me, my customer's like, nah, just whatever works. Yeah, oh, <laughs> but yeah, whatever, okay. <laughs> so, sounds good to me. The markup's going to be... The revenue's going to look good here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, everybody's talking about their three-day weekend, but Brian's on call. Mm. He has Monday off, so he's good. Well, you know, oh, Kurt, Kurt's trying go. to to get the weekend off. That's what it is. That's, what That's he why he's still working. Start tomorrow? Does it start tomorrow or something? Oh, maybe. <laughs> like, he's trying to get all his calls out today. Me. I forgot today was third. Like it just felt like a Friday, bro. That's what Kurt said. He's like, I forgot it was Thursday, and I was like, I kind of did too, but I had a slow day. We had some rain over here. Okay, and we we've been getting into the afternoon showers here lately. It hasn't really happened as much. Like usually, that's all summer. I haven't been like that. No, not this year because we August is usually very a lot of rain or random mm-hmm. uh, storms, yeah. and we didn't get that. Yeah, man. Do you ever talk to go bad about another? Oh, go ahead. Oh no, I was like, I'm I'm gonna go through the comments. What'd you say? You ever talk bad about another company in front of the customer? Like if they got like, uh, like, I don't know, like not like, man, you got, all right, I'll tell you my scenario today. <laughs> I was so, like, you, you, sometimes you let them, yeah. you let them lead with it and then you can jump yeah. in and, and add to it, but it's very hard. Yeah. Cause you're, you're yeah, like, like the, some of the shit you see, you're like, what the hell were they doing? Well, like, just like you said, it's like, you let them go. And like, how far do you go and say like, man, these guys are fucking stupid. <laughs> it's like, you go out to this three-year-old system. Guys had seven people out there somehow. Couldn't Jeez. figure out what the fucking problem was, bro. So one replaced the TXV. <clears throat> the other one, like our copper line sets run underground here, like through um, a line chase in the foundation. Um, but now we try to run them overhead. The guy was like, the company went, he was a foreign guy like i want to say like french or something and he was like they tried to that's a terrible accent i'm not <laughs> even gonna do it <laughs> that was so bad and he was like nah i told him i'm i want it through the ground and the guy's like nah i can't do it so he's like well i had to show him how to do it anyways charged him two thousand dollars to run a copper line set bro right okay and then so i get in there i get a leak detector i'm like pop the door off right away and you see uv dye all over the place i'm like Hmm. Did, did anyone ever add this? He was like, <laughs> no, that wasn't there the last time because I stood here with the flashlight and watched the guy do the valve, right? And I was like, well, it's here now. So get the get the Stratus, wherever Kurt, you know, it found it hmm. again, pinpointed that bitch right on low. It was weeping out the bottom of the TXV Goodman screws in. So just mm-hmm. tighten the bitch up, charge the unit. It was like nine pounds low. I asked the guy, did you want, I didn't know that till after the fact. And he told me about the two thousand dollar things. I was like, and I, I, I was like, damn, <laughs> <laughs> like that is what I said. And he was like, he was like, that's what everybody else said. And I was like, anyway, uh, the point is, this company had seven people go out there, do all this, charge this man. All oh, this so money. it was seven technicians from that one company. Another yes, bro. Damn. Yes, and they're like, <laughs> no, it's not. It's it's working. There's nothing. There's no issues. It's not low on charge. I'm like, mm. man. And, I don't, and I didn't want to be like, well, I didn't, they're not, not incompetent. Like, I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> they're not but like, stupid. I be like, man, you got fucking ripped off, dude. Like, you know what I mean? I was like, <sighs> usually we were charging 500 bucks for a copper line set. And I'm like, damn, if I know we can get two G's. <laughs> like, and and then paid? he bitched about the, bro, the, the, the bill was like 600 bucks. <laughs> it was, it was 544 for what I had to do. And he was like, oh. <gasps> You know what I mean? It's like, it's like dude, you just serious, paid. Bro? You just paid the two thousand. Yeah. No, that's like, probably what it was. I guess, but we get that too. Like some companies, 
you hear what they charge and stuff. And I'm like, how? And then I, I go in there with my, cause we, we have to itemize everything as a, as a commercial business. So we don't have the rates and all that. I think I just, Oh, that remember that screenshot I showed you and you're like, Oh, rejected. Cause I had an invoice that was re oh, yeah, rejected. Yeah. It was rejected because I need to classify refrigerant oh, now God. as a consumable. So they're like, can you redo it and then send it back to us? It's, it's, oh. it's whoever their, their billing department is or whatever. But anyway, um, yeah, like we have to itemize everything. If not, then I get those red flags where it's like, no, we need to know what, you know, what the labor was and all that. So mm -hmm. it's whatever. We're used to it. And that's how we charge. We don't have crazy rates. But um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, uh, you know, my stuff is not that expensive. And then they, they say something and I'm like, you know, all these other companies are charging a crazy amount. Right. And then some of them pay, have paid for that service, even like just to show up. Some of the companies here mm -hmm. charge a whole lot. Yeah, dude. And like, again, you, like I even, cause I got to the point. I was like, I gave them a really good deal. They were two older people and, um, the wife had health issues. He had just had a heart attack and mm. I was like, it was nine pounds. I, I made it to where it was six pounds. I took off the, the fee for even using the leak detector, which is, you know, we charge, we, every task we do, there's yeah. a charge for it you know even showing up all that bullshit i waived all that and um i was like at the end because originally it was like 679 i was like you know what i'm do you want me to take the refrigerant out <laughs> like straight <laughs> up i was like i got a recovery machine dude i'll take it right out right now if that's what you prefer oh now you're just being nasty <laughs> that's what he <laughs> said to me bro i was like i was like no nah, no nah. and i don't even know how to say his name and i was like no sir no sir i was just like you gave me the green light yeah and i was like i'm just trying to help you guys and another thing he was it reminded me of the mr video he had the little temp gun checking the fucking temperature <laughs> oh it's not below 60 i was reading online i'm like yeah dude it's 85 in your house <laughs> like mm -hmm. you know what i mean it eventually like by the time i left it was at like 61 coming out i was like just wait yeah. okay <laughs> you'll get your 56 degrees you want you know what i'm saying man but yeah i know when you when you uh i mean i see that all the time the and it, it, the temperature difference is whatever your you know uh That's place yeah. place your cooling is 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 that like it depends if it's 80 90 it's going to be freaking hotter uh, yeah it's like, yeah of course it's going to get colder refrigeration devil i've never talked about about another company unless i used to work for them that's a good good way to do it that is <laughs> yeah be like i know exactly what goes on so fuck. no because we've we've had that because we're always i mean obviously there's i mean now there's so many companies around here like our our area is growing rapidly there's a shitload of companies here we have all the mm -hmm. climate pro and next gen or mm -hmm. next tech whatever coming in like all yeah, that that's all these people are popping up and then we That's go crazy. in there usually cause we're the, you know, the next person, the second opinion, whatever it is. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah, some, sometimes cause I had a buddy that was a project manager and I, I looked at, well, I mean, I brought it up before the one that had the evaporator in a walk-in box that was like sideways. Yeah. I literally, I couldn't help myself. I'm like, this is the dumbest install I've ever seen who did yeah. this. And it was like, some guys from up north in uh, San Antonio or something, and I was like, "Geez." That's sometimes, funny. sometimes stuff just comes out because I like it's it's that yeah. you're that surprised. You <laughs> bro wanted me to email. Yeah, he wanted me to email the company. I'm like, "Nah, I'm gonna give you the report, and you can send it." Like, <laughs> fuck. But it was yeah. I used to work with a guy, and he would always he'd be like, "Oh." Yeah, we always go behind them. I, I don't know why you called them. Like, shit like that. I'm like, yo, like, we're all in this together in a sense. Like, like yeah. to an extent, like, where ethics come into play, bro. You got to be like, yeah, no, I get it. But 25000 for this system don't make mm -hmm. no sense. <laughs> yeah. Don't make it big. Make it big. Hold on. Can't see. Mike had another come out to a walk-in freezer that we installed in September. And this guy changed the low pressure switch settings. He didn't understand the difference. We had to go, or we had it going into a vacuum. 
I think that's what he was talking about. Oh, damn. S-Mans were reading a thousand microns. It's, uh, fried mm. the compressor. I I actually had, I guess you brought that up when we were talking, when I was talking about the, the fan delay and all that. Mm. I actually had one that I went out to that, and I had pictures of it. So I don't know what happened. We installed the walk-in or we changed out the evaporator and the condensing unit on the walk-in uh, cooler. And it was an old school, uh, an old heat craft, like just a regular mechanical, nothing fancy on it. Cause that's what they wanted at the time. This was like a year ago, year and a half okay. ago, something like that. Oh man. I need to, I need to look up the photo again. I had photos of it. Cause you know, I, mean, I took a two pictures inside. So it has a date and everything on it. Right. I, we go back there cause they're having issues with it. And I go in there and it's an Intelligen, the, the one with the board and everything. And I was mm -hmm. like, we didn't, I was like, I, we didn't put that in. Uh, I, I'm pretty good at remembering what we put in and stuff. And I was like, I know this is not because my dad's like, yeah, we put this in, you know, whatever it was a year or two ago. And I'm like, yeah. no. So I had to go through my phone. I was looking and looking and looking. I finally found it. And I was like, it's not the same one that Ooh. somebody came in and, and changed that out. I have no idea why, because the system is brand new. God damn. And I went, I finally figured that out because I'm like, I don't know what's going on here and this and that, because usually I start everything up. So I know it's it's set right and you know everything's good mm -hmm. i went into the settings and somebody because i know i know some of these managers already know the the passwords to these boards and stuff and oh, it, yeah. it's it's not hard i mean if you have the manual it's in there um and they were like yeah i think one of them one time was like yeah we, we we're trying to get we we're trying to change it to lower it or i don't know what they were doing so i go in there and this whole thing is out of whack like all the the defrost times are messed up the uh the set points are messed up like all these little parameters and I'm like that's yeah. why because my superheat was all out of, i think they raised the superheat on it right so we need mm -hmm. we need uh you know eight to ten on a cooler this thing was set to like 15 or 16 or something and i'm like okay there, there's the problem somebody screwed with the damn controller like don't touch this anymore Bastard. don't touch this shit get out of here <laughs> it sounded good <clears throat> yeah, it's funny speaking of basic what was it? like someone else coming in to do a job we had a customer this was this week i have a video of you doing and it was just that ecm motor i was just talking about um but he had a company come in they he's fucking flipping out over something <laughs> he uh my son i don't know if you hear him yeah, but they got a upset. panel replaced and the company yeah he's probably playing an xbox <laughs> <laughs> and so <laughs> They did a whole panel for the house, and then it gave the comp the guy a bunch of free coupons to do shit. So one was like a free service call. So the guy said his system would freeze up and yada yada. Anyways, they said it was the bad ECM motor. They don't make the motor anymore. It's very expensive. It's out of warranty. Units from 2018. It was installed in 2020. Hmm. It was registered. It was still under warranty. And yes, they still make the fucking motor, bro. <laughs> yeah. It just makes you think like, so they called us out for the second opinion. So it just makes you like, why didn't you just call us in the first place? Oh yeah. You know what I mean? I never understood. That just that, irritates me. Yeah. And that reminds me of another post. Cause some guys have posted about like R22. Cause some guys still use it. And like uh, real shit. Yeah. And they're out there like on second opinions. Cause somebody was like, Oh, you know, they don't make that anymore. You got to change out the whole system. Right. And they're like, here's the jug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I mean, I don't, I don't carry it either anymore, but I'll offer a, a swap, a, a replacement. Drop yeah, drop in. Nah, for sure, dude. And like, I always tell people, well, yeah, they they still make. It. I hate when like I go in, like, yeah, they outlawed that, right? Like, we can still buy it. <laughs> like, it's not like for a fuck, hefty man. price, you can still get it. Yeah. So, I you know, I get. I I really don't run into enough situations where I have to even put that stuff in. I, I don't like the changeover rate it. down here. Is so I haven't high. seen it in a long time now. Yeah, so only the other day, yeah, only the, the other day, and I think I have some some video on it. Um, one of my guys opened his big mouth and said he could fix something, and it was an R twenty two system, but it was a semi hermetic compressor. It was falling apart. Um, a lot of issues with it. Um, I think <laughs> the the motors are all out of whack. The bear, you can hear the bearings on it. Like all this yeah. stuff, and I'm like, why did you why did you say that? Because now now they wanted it fixed, 
Yeah, I was like, yeah. that that's it's one I would have condemned, just because of all yeah. the the stuff. So he he did the repair and then he tried to put in um because we use four hundred seven, mm-hmm. and it kind of works but it, it it ices up and stuff and I'm like dude like the coal is trash the motors are trash you should not have even done that so that's the only one that I've seen recently everything else I think we've already kind of changed out yeah we did a change out today it was R twenty two um straight coal old train freaking just right where the um lines come up under the coil there and they were just like yeah we can just replace it because the coil was leaking right there the coil was expensive you know that shit you know what i mean job was like three grand or something so we replaced it it's like mm, okay yeah makes like, sense. i had i've actually had like two or three patches that i've done recently like on coil on the evaporator coils and i'm like i just because i man i forgot who posted i was over on instagram but i think he said he got a lot of hate on tiktok because he did a. it looked like a maybe a train rtu and it had the the evaporator coil had a leak but it was right where the the u-bends like where the cot where where it met the like the metal part where it comes out mm-hmm. on the ends on the ends of the coils so he had right. to cut back to find the leak and then yeah pa- and then patch it and this guy did like a phenomenal job because he right. had all these uh he has like a certain way that he does it to where none of the shavings go inside. Like he had all this setup and stuff. And I'm, I was just like amazed yeah. by, you know, him doing it. And people yeah. give everybody comes in and gives him so much shit because they're like, You should have sold him a new new unit. Uh why didn't you get the coil? And this and that. And then his his thing was like they needed it fix like he does commercial work. They needed it fixed yeah. that day. He's like, they were not going to wait for a coil. Man, and I was like, I, I, I ran into that recently. I've done a couple of coils just because they, mm-hmm. I mean, they want it done. Big time. And yeah, if they want to pay for it, it, I mean, we'll fix it. Yeah. All day long. That's what we're here for. Eddie, remember a big cookout at Jake's? Are we? No, Ed. A, for HR. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, guys i'm gonna be out of town that day <laughs> <laughs> that week oh uh, there's another convention man that shit's so close bro when you think about it you got your uh tickets no i sent you? you the link <laughs> they're over half taken i was gonna mention it in the show today, if anybody has not gotten their tickets yet, you might want to go to the I HVAC got an email. Tactical Award um, or the HVAC Tactical website and get your tickets. Because he had sent me an email saying, are you going? And you didn't answer. Oh. Nah, dude. I, it's, <laughs> I know. I'm such, a, I'm such a piece of shit. <laughs> like, I'm like... I don't know. I don't, I'm looking at PTO stuff. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I just saw that he posted that like more than half the tickets have sold already. No, I believe it. Yeah, he emailed that, so I'll just I'll just click yes. Yeah. God damn, I'll click yes. Um, <laughs> well, it's gonna take you to buy them. So, <laughs> oh, then no. <laughs> I was hoping it was like a legit one. You know, like yo, you just you giving them on the house. I mean, I don't I don't need another veto bag. I'm good. Well, uh, <laughs> the same God. one. No, it's a tool bag, I think. I'm good. You're, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? uh, Kurt Yo. said he got his already. I got mine Did already. He? How much were they? 120? Oh, they went up. 125? Uh, Jesus. Just raping us now. It's worse than Something like that. It's 100, 100 bucks. It's not more than 120. It was it was one it was a hundred last year. If it went to one twenty five, I mean twenty five percent inflation. I mean, I, I didn't even I didn't even make that much extra in, in work, bro. So, I mean, God, I got three kids just went back to school, bro. And you know. when is the award show? Let me pull it up. It's at uh, Sea World. Yeah, is that what we're saying? Yeah. Is it at the? Well, yeah, I don't know if you know. We used to go to Sea World. Um, but we don't support that shit anymore. Now, <laughs> you know, like, you know, you know, um, did y'all, what was that? Um, the documentary, the, the blackfish, that was a good one. Um, 
but they have this little like dinner venue that's right up to the orca tank. I wonder if that's where it'll be. It's kind of sad. Tanks like as it's... big as this room. Really? It is small for fucking big ass <laughs> whales. Oh my uh, God. Well, yeah, he said that's where it was. Like it's in there. So I'm, probably is it whatever you're talking about. I would think that's where it's going to be. I don't know if they have like a, I would assume they have a whole, like a ceremony spot in there. It's fun. SeaWorld's pretty, pretty cool. If you can like avoid the crowd because it gets pretty crazy. Just Let's like see, everywhere. Like, but anyways. Uh, yeah. Did you find a date? I'm pulling it up. Boom. Because it's only uh, the Super Bowl joint, right? Oh, yeah. It's the same day, uh, February 9th. But he did, I don't know, he did like a poll and most people didn't watch it. So, because he was trying to see if he could do it a different time, but it's going to be that night, um, Sunday night. And then AHR is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Mm. It's about to go down. Oh, yeah. Anything new pop up there? No, I'm trying to find the price. Go black tie. Fill it out. You got to fill out everything. I do like the hexagons. That's pretty sweet. It gives you the price after you fill out everything. (laughs) Oh, yeah. We'll end up. What the hell is that? Hold on. Let me click the link. Oh, Mike won't be able to make it. All of a sudden, Mike can't make it. I thought you were going to be there, Mike. I thought that was the whole Jason's thing. like, throw up Jake's address. <laughs> Y'all shine your bitches. <laughs> uh, Eddie, I'm going to take my wife and daughter, but my cat kid can't go to HR. They will be at Disney while I'm at the uh, convention. Oh, you right. you right. It did. Uh, it did just take me right to the fucking lane. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> it took you right to it. And it's like, enter your credit card. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No, everybody's saying that they're going, Mark. Oh, Mark just yeah, it's at your house. A... <laughs> oh, God damn it. It's You're not going to get away from that. <laughs> I know. Yo, Brett with fucking Ash was like, come on over. I'm like, <laughs> do you see this guy's eyes? He looks creepy as fuck. I don't know. <laughs> Where's Brett? I didn't even talk to him in a minute. Um, he hasn't. HR. I know he's posted, but he hasn't posted as like much he as he used to. Yeah. He seems busy. Yeah. We um, oh, real yeah, quick, practical, practical gadgeteer asked no. if Curtis is okay. He is working late today. He had a martial arts tournament that he had to take care <laughs> of, so he had to go kick some ass, and then uh, he'll be back. <laughs> um, no, tactical show is always fantastic. I always like the food. Atlanta was really good, like food, food. Um. The one last year in Chicago was really cool setting. I mean, I guess each setting is cool. Like each year he tries to level up and I think doing it in sea roll is kind of a, a level up. I, I think, I mean, I, the only other would be like, Oh, do it at universal or Disney. You know, could you imagine how much that shit oh. would be? <laughs> Golly. But it, it, um, every year he does it bigger and better. Oh, and then cool. HR should be, Fan fucking tastic, I think. Well, I, I plan on being there on time this time so I can Jeez. see everybody. Because last time I got straight yeah. there and I had to get up on, on this. Well, sit down for a bit and go up on stage. Yeah, this time I want to do the, the whole thing beforehand where you just get to relax. Yeah, man. That's what it's about. <laughs> you know, that's the purpose of it. Man, it's, it's we're already talking about it. We're closer to it than we are away from it, I guess. Yeah, it's right. You around. said they got rid of Atlanta, right? Yeah, if you go to the well, I haven't checked in a minute, but if you go to the website, it's only three cities now. I liked Atlanta. Did you? I was on the wrong they, side. The town. dirty town road of dirty birds, dog. Come on now. The ATL. Because I, 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 I booked cool. it last minute. I got what I I got what I got, and we were on the wrong side uh, of town. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Understood. Heard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was right next to the Waffle House, though. It was good. Did I tell you all about this story? No. So we booked... What did we do? We booked one hotel. It was a nice little spot. And then we were going to... Because it was close to... I don't know why the fuck. And then we were going to the Hilton 
like for the next two days. And so, but in between we had to stay somewhere else and it was this like roach fucking motel, bro. It was literally behind a waffle house. We walk in that bitch. We're like <laughs> fucking the paint's dripping off the wall, like peeling off the wall. There's fucking a, 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 I swear to God, there was a chalk outline. There was a fucking <laughs> roach up on the ceiling. I was like, yeah, we, we, we're going to go. They're like, we just checked you in. Uh, where are you going? You know what I mean? They're like, yeah, nah, this ain't happening. No. Uh, practical gadgeteer. If you show up to Jake's house uninvited, I think he throws tough belt stacks at you. <laughs> that's, generally, that's generally what happens. You should see the kids when they fucking come by. <laughs> Are you still using any of that stuff? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you mi- mis- yeah. mismatched in your van then? Yeah. You so, didn't completely convert? Nah. Did you? Um. So, like, my mini, I got the two side doors, and I just got pack out so there with the drawers coming out that way. And in the back, I have tough built just sitting there. I got the three drawer, single drawer, crate, big, deep organizer, and two small ones. I'm waiting for Milwaukee to come out with some stuff that they have planned. I don't know. I haven't checked on when the when their next pack out yeah. drop is because they have a lot of they have a lot of random stuff coming out right now. I just want mm-hmm. more of the drawers and and pack outs. Um because I bought a single drawer from tough belt which i thought was really cool because i had this little space in my van that nothing would have fit in but i bought a mm-hmm. single drawer and it fit perfectly nice yeah so i yeah, like that they have that but i want milwaukee to kind of catch to up do something. <laughs> yeah. right it's like man they're kind of just doing all the leg work for it i mean they're the same fucking price some of their stuff is more expensive than milwaukee but well, then something's the going time. on with tough belt I, I did talk to somebody there mm-hmm. and they were having issues with lowe's and then That's what I heard. they're and the, gonna end up I think they're trying to finish out whatever that contract is. And then they'll move on to other places. I don't know if it's like a Home Depot or whatever, but they're gonna move on. Yeah. And then I think you can also at some point buy them online. Like I don't know if it's gonna be like Amazon or what. So there's just gonna be dead. it's like a waiting game right now. That's gonna be shitty for them, man. They probably are losing their ass. Um it's what something it? with Lowe's because of the whole like the the first wave they order so many things and yeah, then yeah, once yeah. once that and stuff sells like they need to reorder and if they don't then it screws up everything and I feel like that's were... happening with with Klein too. Dude, I don't know what they did. Because my Lowe's sucks right now. Mm-hmm. I've seen a lot of people or a lot of Lowe's not have the same amount of Klein shit that they usually do. It was amazing when it first came out. Yeah, dude. It was like, they had, oh, a, shit. They had a whole the corner Pro for it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, nah, they just now moved I can't it all find shit. The <laughs> yeah. Stupid. All right, and then, and but, then like a lot of it's locked. I don't know why. Because yeah, you mentioned right. you mentioned that, and I'm like, yeah, I've seen that around here. I thought it was just because like where yeah. I lived or something. <laughs> nah, bro. Well, you know. Hey, you know, where I live ain't too safe neither, you know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> Let me tell you something, okay? <laughs> um, nah, it is weird. Like, I'm like, why is this in a fucking ca-? But Lowe's is really notorious for just putting tags on everything. And, I mean, you look at something wrong and it starts beeping, you know? I know. It sucks like, for talk, though. Home Depot never did that crap. Oh, now nah, they got all their shit in cages, bro. Well, yeah, I, start, I started seeing the, well, at least like the Milwaukee stuff is in cages mm-hmm. and everything yeah but it's not i guess it depends one one home depot that i go to mm-hmm. everything's locked down like in the in, the, mm-hmm. in those aisles and another yeah. one that i another, another one that i go to hasn't gone that far yet not oh that's a good one that's the one we <laughs> yeah you can just grab what the fuck you need oh you know you that's all you no, know because I've, I've seen i've seen those tiktoks i don't know if you've seen them of the security people I forgot what they're called. The ones that are like at the Home Depots or the Walmarts or whatever it is. Okay. Like they're their whole um something management. Like like, no, no, no. Well, the oh. ones that are security. No, the ones that are there for had... theft. Okay. Well, maybe Elaborate. you weren't supposed to know that they were there. Um <laughs> they have all the cameras set up and they there's I need to find it again because I haven't seen it come out anymore. But like there's TikToks and stuff that they're recording, they're doing content. But they're watching cameras, right? So they're literally seeing people steal. 
and they're like yeah. they're, they're they they do their little commentary they're like oh look he's gonna do this he's gonna do that i see what he's doing here you're not getting away with that buddy and this and that like and then they meet him outside and then they catch him and then do whatever they're gonna do but uh, it's, it's funny when you, I, I never thought about that like they're watching literally every shopper in the like there's mm -hmm. somebody that watches everything and if well, you yeah. yeah and they're watching them at the register and everything and make sure make sure they're you know scanning stuff and if you do something bad if you're because they showed a bunch of people trying to get away with like big carts of crap big heavy machine <laughs> yeah. big heavy tools yeah. or equipment and they're scanning like the little things and they're, they're trying not to scan the big one and yeah, they walk yeah, out yeah. and they're like no i got my receipt or whatever this and that and then they like meet them at the exit and then they get them so it's it's just funny. I just thought about that because like, yeah, how everything is like. Even Home Depot is like self checkout now. Yes, right. I hate going uh, to the grocery store that doesn't have self checkout though. Well, I go, oh. I go to Walmart a lot, and they've expanded. It's like all self checkout. Oh, it's huge, yeah. It's like the at, whole day of store at this point. Because I have a couple here, right, or a few, but like. Mm -hmm there's one that is like the the newer one or the updated one whatever you want to call it mm -hmm. like that's the one that gets everything first they wiped out the whole front and it's all self-checkout yeah. and i'm like what the hell and they're remodeling you know and all that and then i Still i have a like apple pay though no i have to set up my walmart app to take mobile Stupid. payments and i i do it that way because i forget my wallet a lot yeah um yeah. but my dollar general there's a shit ton of them here Right. Mm -hmm. I always go to get little things here and there. And I was so happy that they got self checkout. Right. Oh, no shit. And then they built two new ones. I'm in between. Mm -hmm. I have one literally where I live and I'm in, in between like two other ones that they just built. Yeah. And I like the newer ones. Right. They're they're brand new. They're they're clean and everything. And they were built around self checkout. Like mm -hmm. there was no cashiers set up or anything. They had like you can tell that it was only going to be self checkout. Quickly after that, they got rid of all the self checkout because they, <laughs> yeah, they said they were bad. losing too much money. <laughs> oh fuck yeah, bro! So it's all That's awkward. Like... You go there to to check out now, and it's like somebody, a cashier at a self checkout, helping you, you check out. Check <laughs> You're like, yeah, I'm good. I I, I can do it. <laughs> oh man, it's sad. Sad day. But they all they all have it. Um, but yeah, I would love for them to all take Apple Pay because I've used it more and more now. Yeah, generally that's my go to. But well, the dog. What we yeah, everybody's like, I prefer Home Depot, but the got to go to Lowe's for the climb tools. That's where they fucked you up, man. That's a, that's how I used to be. Now I find myself literally, generally going to Lowe's more often. I got to remember to go to Lowe's because I go to Home Depot for everything and I'm like, I needed this. Like I got that Klein light. I really like mm -hmm. that, that fold out one. Is it a good one? Yeah. Um, no, I just, I just hate that it's micro USB, but I was like, I got to go to Lowe's for it because I forgot. Mm -hmm. I was there at Home Depot and I'm like, okay, I got to go over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, now I remember. Yeah, it sucks, dude. But my... Lowe's is across the street from the Home Depot, so. But Lowe's is closer, so. Why down? <laughs> she, old I'm girl, just man, tapping so, around. Yo, she oh, don't. Her. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's my uh, it's my bitch, uh, Athena. She's fourteen, so. <laughs> uh, refrigeration devil is like I work at Dollar General. They their reaching coolers are a pain. I think I've seen Brian work on on that stuff there's a guy that i started watching young buck refrigeration i don't know if you've seen have you seen that one but um he's like a no. supermarket tech <laughs> he's like a supermarket tech and he yeah, does a lot of uh that kind of refrigeration I think I have seen him. yeah I think a I lot of that kind him. of refrigeration where you walk into like a dollar store and it's all the the coolers on the side those little ones yeah yeah, yeah. and they are. I, I always tell people the smaller the equipment is, because I much rather work on a walk-in box than a reach-in cooler. Um, the smaller they are, the harder they are to work on. Oh, I bet. And then, um, man, I forgot. Oh, he asked earlier. I, I lost a comment about solenoid valves in the reach-ins. I do see it a lot because I do. I do these prep coolers that that are like. 
it's one compressor, but it controls like three different evaporators. And each one has a solenoid that way, like when one satisfies, it can sh shut that section off with the, the valve. Mm -hmm. So I do see a lot of uh, solenoids for that reason. Other than that, I don't think you you see a solenoid yeah. valve on a refrigeration or a small cooler. Q, 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 Oh, yeah, he knows Young Buck is awesome. It's great. Um, from the very um, south as well, Memphis, Tennessee. Thug Muffin, <laughs> R22 <laughs> game, reporting for duty. <laughs> Yo. Uh, he uh he commented on one of my videos because I saw the name. I was like, this is fucking hilarious. I the name, like, the name threw me off. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, can't <laughs> hate on them. You can't be mad at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Theft prevention was... Guys were... Or loss prevention is what I've heard, too. Uh, <laughs> or, uh, or Jason used my favorite, Rent-A-Cop. There we go. Classic. <laughs> Bro. Just used to go into the malls when you were a kid and just saying that, like, you fucking rent a cop, say that stupid <laughs> shit to him. Such an asshole. Yo, what up, Jesse? Or the, shit. we had the cops at our high schools that were there, like, yeah, yeah. on duty. Uh, uh, yeah. it, the kids were what ruthless. Are... Rent a cop, they call one Robocop and give them shit Yo, all the time. <laughs> so fucking ignorant. And now it's like, I prefer them to be there, like, yeah, <laughs> you know, you're like, yeah, hey, please, you know, it's a, it's a good feeling. Chain of Lakes Refrigeration, shouting yeah, you shout out. out. Yeah, that's, that's the him. He's down here in uh, he's down here in Winter Winter Haven. I I can say that right, Jesse. He uh, Chain of Lakes. <laughs> it that's what they're known as. I met him at um, with Rick at uh. The AHR, not AHR, what's that other shit they do? Symposium. <clears throat> a couple years ago. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. So. Mark, oh, I got... just picked up a new Klein ratcheting wrench set for 50% off. Mm -hmm. Shit. I don't see those deals. You should go. I, uh, I, I bought them and then they went on sale and I took the receipt back and then they gave me my additional funds because I bought them at normal price, like a, a real supporter of this, dumb, like, like a real dumbass. <laughs> you know what I mean? I did. I, I, I saw that and that was, they, they, right when I did it, they went on sale and then they went to full price again and then they went on sale and then they went to 59 bucks and now they're down to that. It's crazy, man. I guess they weren't doing, and probably people don't know they're there because they got them locked up in a stupid ass. Yeah, he was. At, that's where it was. Who was that? Kalos. Which, they was locked up in the um. What? Which ones are those? The ones they on the box. Like the little. The yeah the um the little set because I have one. I have the pass through one. Oh, so it's like um, ratcheting open end like box wrenches. Like I did a. Oh, I think I wanted those. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know. And um, pretty solid, but... Man, they made some other hard. ones that I wanted. I don't know. They have a lot of shit now. I mean, for granted, I don't know. They were supposed to come out with a whole bunch of stuff that... Uh, what was it? The the Connect system that was supposed to lock in. What we got? No, I don't know. Froggy Segway Nights. Segway. Yeah, it was just... It's, <laughs> Speaking of, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, on to our next venture. That's uh, actually what Kurt's up to. <laughs> Yo, I'm surprised he didn't call in or not call in. Any stupid shit. <laughs> Hi, you guys. No, he's out for the count. Yeah, he's he's probably asleep. Um, Let's see. Does anybody here, really quick, know? I think it's NCI, the NCI Summit. Is that what it was called? Remember that email I showed you? Yeah, 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 yeah. The who else here knows or goes to that? Just really Anybody quick. Anybody from here? Quick rundown. Because I, 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 I didn't know about it too much, and then I realized mm -hmm. that's where Adam works. I forgot. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. I saw like in that email. That's what on the bottom of his little uh, whatever information about himself said that. 
Oh shit! I can't get to the email because the knights were invited to take over the summit. Well, I want to hear who who goes to it. Hold on. Oh shit! It's probably full of smart people, bro. I can't fucking show my face. <laughs> like, uh, like, oh, you wanna <laughs> you wanna talk that? I mean, I can. I'm trying to find the email. I can't pull it up right now. Hold on. I can talk some fucking bourbon and whiskey and understand that more than I can understand fucking HVAC. Come on, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, Later, Brian. Those guys are pretty cool. Appreciate you. Later, b Rye, b Rye aroni b rice aroni So the NCI, let me just pull up what it says because I was like, I don't even know what it is. The NCI Ooh. Summit is something... And that remember I told you about the tickets? They were they were like yeah, like a grand or something. Yeah, it's like yeah. a thing for I think like contractors and business owners. Okay. And I they I wanna say they just help you understand uh like here it says electrification, heat pumps, inverters, uh, new efficiency standards, and then I think they help you with your business. So if your business, if you need help, um I want to say like selling. Oh yeah. Completely focused on servicing, selling and delivering high performance HVAC. I don't know, but we were, we were invited as the HVAC nights. Um, I need to email him back. I need to email him back as I forgot, but we have to politely decline because we're not at, at all no. going to be able to make no, that. You, you don't want to go. I mean, Did you want to go? It ain't but a, it is a six hour drive for me. <laughs> Well, from the chat, I, I figured y'all didn't want to go. So um, that's we why were... I said thought. I texted you. I was like, yo, Adrian, thoughts? And Kurt's like, I got to count myself out. I'm like, damn, you don't want to take this show on the road, son? Like, let's go. We we go take over all the fucking high class, low class, business class. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do it all, <laughs> baby. We the Knights. <laughs> Let me see. When is it? Got it. It's like September. It's like two weeks, bro. So probably not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I was like, I told Ashley because my my sister lives in Charlotte, and it was I want to say an hour and a half outside of Charlotte, maybe. Mm. And um, she just had a baby, so it would have worked to be able to go there and do that. And yeah, so I don't know. I guess we'll we'll, we'll circle back around to that. We'll yeah, we'll come back. Give us the weekend, and uh, we'll get we'll get all <laughs> the information everybody wants to know, bro. But uh, yeah, we were invited out to that, and I I, I don't know. I, I need to look into it. I forgot. Like I said, I was looking in on their website trying to see what it was about. Yeah. But I, I didn't realize that Adam from Overtime Eight uh, A Team Adam is uh, that's where he yeah. works at. Okay. Yeah, I know he's he's really smart. He's good at like uh, he's very um intelligent. Smart just sounds like fucking I don't know. Yeah, he's, he's like he's you guys can. Important. He was like there. You can guys. You guys can interview like all these people or whatever. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm that smart to interview like yeah, right. a smart person. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, yeah, bro. that's why I'd be like, yo, so, uh, what's your margins, bro? Uh, what do you think of these <laughs> new capacitors? Like, you know, it's some stupid shit. Uh, what kind of pizza you like? You know, <laughs> that would be the extent of it. I would uh, just get into it and ask how much money they make and everything. That's what I would do. Yeah. Just take advantage, you know, while they're there. Yeah. Yep. Uh, R22 gang is what we used to call each other in my HVAC course class in high school. OGs like R22, but I can't lie. HVAC nights has a great ring to it. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Yeah. Solid. Yo, R22 gang represent though. I mean the deuce deuce, you know what I'm saying? I'm with it. (laughs) The the, the double deuce, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) (laughs) That's what I, yo, I don't know. Stupid shit. Gotta go drop a double deuce. You know what I'm saying? Which oh god, froze. Oh no, you're good. Okay, I was Your looking face. at my phone. <laughs> uh, Internet down. No, I was like, no, I also have like a headache. I forgot. I it's from the weekend though. I still have. It still hurts. I hit my head on the roof hatch, on the. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No oh, sir. I just. I guess I didn't. I like. A lot of them here are not working properly, right? I have to kind of swing it open hard, make sure it latches 
and yeah, then yeah, like yeah. And it get up to come back down on you. Like, yeah, and I didn't check this this last time. It was on Sunday. I was trying to get a call done, you know, real yeah. real quick because I didn't want to be there all day. Hit Bro. my head on the damn thing, and I was like, oh, like got to keep going. Word. I fucking uh, last week the rain's coming in. I got my fucking probes on the unit, or I got the unit opened up looking for a leak, and I have the disconnect door fucking open from the wall. And I'm bent <laughs> down, and I just fucking basically jump up and i'm like mother and i'm in a nice residential neighborhood i'm like motherfucking <laughs> son of a bitch you know what i mean but fuck you you know just, dude, like, i get so mad at inanimate objects that's even the right word it's like that other one Object. that you told off the one that sparked yeah, and blew. Up, oh, disconnection and me just don't get along <laughs> man but like i i don't know i, I do shit like that i'm like yeah yeah motherfucker okay i get that from my dad because <laughs> you pig shit like that i don't know oh my yeah my dad was the worst every time he got yeah. pissed and he didn't care who was around like <laughs> yeah right yeah the uh, job sites were the worst bro that's what i mean like I, I used to ride with him and, and go you know do some calls on the mm-hmm. on the kitchen stuff and then my god if he hit himself if something happened he dropped something <laughs> right freaking yeah. yell in the quietest kitchen i'm like oh shit <laughs> Like, oh, there's a, there's a toddler over here. <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck. She can get it too. <laughs> oh, look oh, who popped in. Look who decided. Sh- and he's got the blue wrench. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what up, Kurt? Hope all is well, big dog. Everybody say hi to Chuck. Um, he just got <laughs> back from fighting crime and arresting the the drug smugglers <laughs> out there with Walker Tech. Fucking. Georgia, Texas Ranger. I like that. Yeah, we, my man said won't make it. To, the last <laughs> few minutes of it. <laughs> Kurt's awesome, dude. He's a fucking. He probably would have tried. Tried though. That's. Funny. I know. That's. I was like, dude, just drive safe. Get home, man. Yeah, it's there fine. Better be a, there better be a video in the dark. If there's not, that we know you're lying. <laughs> we won't be <laughs> waiting for that video, Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome good times man anything else cool in the chat going down everybody's talking to kurt uh oh chain of lakes <laughs> well like i th- i hit my head and i I've, i still feel it from sunday the only other time that's happened to me because i I, yeah. I used to work at a grocery store or at a, a yeah. sam's club and i don't know if i've talked about this on the, on this channel before but man i had to run the whole grocery section of that of that place i was a kid i was like 18 at the time the guys that i worked with were like the og guys there they always pulled them out for stuff and i had to run that that thing by myself um stocking Mm. throwing out trash we live by the mexico border so like a lot of people would come over buy shit go resell it over there that's a big problem we have here um you ever thought about getting in that industry the reselling yeah, no. like fuck it, I'm gonna make more money doing this, <laughs> dude. I hate that because if we go, if we have a mall open up, like a like the outlets here, and uh-huh. there's like a Nike store, there's people buying like twenty, twenty or a whole pallet of shoes, and I'm like, I I know you're just gonna fucking resell these things, and it's all people from Mexico, like, yeah, yeah it's whatever, you know. A lot of this area is now catering to like the shoppers, right? But they're they're starting to put limits because it's funny because like we just had a what is that crumble cookie place oh. open up here? They had it made the news. They had to put a limit because people were buying those things and going to resell and taking them, them back. Get the fuck yeah. out of here, bro! <laughs> the damn franchise cookie spot. So man. like, I mean, you, they're good. But... You can't have anything good here because people damn. from over there are always here shopping, and they're always like, "What can we resell?" Right? Like it's that's the whole thing what? now, bro. Yo, was re- they they go buy some Taco Bell and resell it over there? Come on, <laughs> it's like yo, this is American, better. the American yeah, Mexican like, food. I wonder if there uh, is taco. You ever been to Mexico? Yeah, we we used to go all the time. It's not well, yeah it's safe say, anymore. Really Would you? Uh, um, do they have Taco Bell? No, <laughs> uh, I'm just they curious. Have, I mean, they have tacos on every corner. I mean, you just have to make sure they, you get. They go. got McDonald's, there, don't they? I think they do. I've never. Well, I was younger. I didn't that's, look for McDonald's. Well, that's what I'm saying. I was just curious if, like, yeah, there, there's I, stuff that that you see here over there, but 
like i don't know we would we would go over we, we'd shop over there we'd get food over there the food's really good over there um I and i we could literally walk over and come back like that's how close i am you y'all don't do that much no more uh no because they're <laughs> a lot stricter and a lot oh. going on over there that's like the people people go missing like, oh what yeah no i'm kidding i, I know oh <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna say it's like the people like that live up north like close to canada that's how they used to be they just walk across the fucking borders and shit and you know what i mean i watched a video recently but i feel like so canadians are so much nicer than people down here <laughs> i mean it's, it gets pretty rough i don't know I'm fucking pretty rough no on idea. the canadian border yeah. <laughs> oh yeah gotcha eh some stupid shit like that like oh no nah, i was watching a video of some dude that he walked from um arizona's connected right and he went from their border in and, and he was i don't know what the fuck he did it for but he did and he yeah just seemed okay <laughs> <laughs> like whatever uh, oh anyway back to what i was saying before i completely forget tacos no not taco like the oh. sam's club before that yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah yeah. i used to work there that's the last time that i hit my head I actually busted my head open there because like <laughs> we're throwing out the stuff in the compactor mm-hmm. and the doors you have mm. to load you have to load the wires underneath i forgot how it worked but like the stuff that wraps around it and mm-hmm. I got up and I hit my head on the on the doors because they they swing open sometimes. Oh. I was like, oh, I'm good. Everybody's like worried about me. I'm like, I'm good because I hit the shit out of it. And yeah. uh, and they're like, No, <laughs> no, you're bleeding. I was like, What? <laughs> I looked down. So they had to take me to go get like stitches and stuff. But I have a, I don't know, I have a really good pain tolerance, which yeah. is like a good thing and a bad thing in 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 just in For general. Sure. <laughs> yeah absolutely bro but i'm glad you're okay but on the rooftop i have to catch myself because like you said i'll start yep. swearing mm-hmm. and i'm like oh crap can somebody hear me right because i'm right next to the roof hatch or like i'm in a, i'm in the unit and i'm like it's probably echoing down through the vent <laughs> yo i did oh my god so i went to a a commercial spot one time there was a neighborhood right behind it i don't and i it was after hours i was pissed as fuck i didn't even want to go my like everything went wrong that day too and i start throwing the fucking panels i'm kicking them i'm like mother fuck you mother fuck this yeah i'm here i can't even fix it motherfucker because the supply houses are you know what i mean i'm just pissed off at who i'm working <laughs> for and shit i'm like fuck this fuck you i quit you know it's all good the next day you know <laughs> i spoke i spoke my peaks i text my boss i was like yeah you know what fuck you bro like you can have this shit you know what i mean and i was like just swallowed my pride you know what i mean the next no yeah. like i'm good now so but I, I was like all the neighborhood was right there i'm like <laughs> so embarrassing <laughs> like you know what i mean like blind rage for no reason it's just the, the you're in the moment yeah dude and then like you said you and when you get hurt like that oh god made in the usa what's up hold on i'll, I'll make it bigger hold on you're right yeah thanks bud when y'all started as install or service techs and you had to deal with all the weird nuanced stuff that can change from brand to brand like different con- controls was there a learning curve primarily so like between when I did brands installs. like the, the yeah. things that you would find i um like obviously when like your base models generally everything's going to be the same what's wrong did he take okay gotta get ready to hop off of this one they're, they're giving okay. them up um generally with like obviously when you're doing installs you're at a company they're selling one product um but we would always have a lead guy that would help us and do the startup and it was easier now it's service techs just got to remember put that shit in your pocket every time like oh yeah that's right this one did this this did that like just recently i went to a um a system it was an ion infinity system and i don't know anything about them so what i did is i checked all my voltages across the whole board and took pictures of it and and i put it in a little thing on my phone so i can remember like okay this thing's running as it should this is the readings that should get across it 
and go from there. Yeah, same here. Uh, when I, like you said, when you come to, like before I used to think about it, I mean, we can talk about it next time, but like before I used to think about it more when I was going to a call, like, oh shit, I've never seen this before, you know, this and that, because there are diff- there are differences. Mm-hmm. Now it's like, whatever, it's all the same to me because For- it, it's the same cycle. I mean, if you, if you come to a brand that you've never seen before, obviously you're going to look for, or you're going to find out the quirks and all that. Like every brand has its own thing. So like there is a learning curve. Uh, but once you, or if you just stick to the basics, it's not, it's not that hard. Yeah, for sure. That's like, yeah, I was, it just, train. it helps, it helps you in the future. Like you said, you put it in your pocket. Okay. Next time go straight to this or whatever Boom. it is. And then like, it, it just makes it quicker. Yeah. Uh, real Absolutely. quick, Ben, what does lead mean on changing the motor? I just go by the fan blade direction. Uh, I'm assuming you mean the direction. So there's, cause I was just looking up motors before we got on here. If it says clockwise, counterclockwise, shaft end, it's when you're looking at it from the blade end. When it says lead end, it's the other way you're looking at it from the leads, um, basically the back of the motor. I assume that's what you're talking about. Good call. And then, oh, Mike, thanks for the tip on the uh, on getting the wand. I was going to send it to Field Piece, so he ordered his oh, did he, get it? He, he ordered yeah. his replacement wand and he just got it nice hell yeah because i was like i was like i'm not like i don't like sending stuff in like when it's out of warranty and all that so i was like let me look yeah. for it and i mean it was easy to find so glad that helped you out mike big boy all right anything else you want to sign off let's do this everybody right. thank you for tuning in thanks everybody uh And we'll see you guys next time.